In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made a deathclaw steak sandwich. So what you want to start with is a cut of steak, it doesn't matter what kind of steak, just make sure it's nice and thick and it's nice and juicy. I chose a Big Daddy steak from Aldi because it's probably the best one I can get with the limited budget that I am currently on. So before the cooking process, you want to take it out of the fridge, leave it for about 20 to 25 minutes for it to bring up to room temperature. I then went on to season it with salt, pepper, mixed herbs with garlic and chilli flakes. You can put as many chili flakes as you want on it, I only use this many because I'm not really big on spicy food, but I'll still eat spicy food. Next what you want to do is get your pan absolutely roasting hot to the point that it's smoking. This means you know that it's ready for the steak to go in. I normally put it in dry because the steak will cook in its own juices once they start leaking out. Normally what I'll do is I'll sear it, so I'll leave it for a minute one side, then I'll flip it over, sear it for another, reduce the heat down to about a medium heat, and then leave it for three minutes one side to cook, flip it over, and then start to cook it on the other side for three minutes. While the steak was cooking, I decided to get the bread ready. I chose some naan wraps, as I thought this would be just something a little bit different. Got some lurpak out of the fridge, lurpak one side of it. This would be for when I put it in the pan and crisping up one side of it, so I've got like a nice crispy inside and a nice soft outside. Then once the steak has finished cooking, I put some tin foil over it or aluminium foil over it. It doesn't really matter what you put over it as long as it's some sort of foil. And I left that under the foil to carry on cooking just a little bit more through while I put the bread in the pan and cooked one side of it until it was pretty much golden brown because once you take it off the pan it'll it'll harden up and go a bit more crispy but I also decided I thought I'd add some cheese to it so I just got some normal grated cheese bought by the pan that I cut the steak in because it's still had all the seasoning left in that from there put the cheese in added some more chili flakes and then once that was completely fully melted down I got the bread on a plate poured the cheese from out of the pan onto the plate and then went back to the steak cut the steak up into nice thin slices it doesn't matter how you cut it you can have it thick you can have it thin i chose to have it thin i like my steak a little bit red in the middle still or a bit pink it depends on how you want to word it then once i cut it all up layer it all up as nice as you like it doesn't matter how how you layer it just just put it on the bread at this point if you've got any salad items or onions or mushrooms or anything like that that you want to add to it you go ahead and add that i'm not big on salady things so i just literally wanted steak cheese and bread once I've finished layering it up, I cut it in half, and as you can see, this is the, the final result. Obviously, it doesn't look a lot, but it tasted absolutely beautiful. The bread gave it another flavour as well. So that is how I made a Deathclaw steak sandwich. Like I said, you can do whatever else you want with this. This is just my little take on it. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be back again soon with another video. Thanks for tuning in to Fallout TV. Thanks for all your support recently. Love you lots. Goodbye.